Viewers of The Gold Rush have been curious about Tyler Mahoney and Parker Schnabel teaming up in the Frosty Wilds. People speculated they might be more than just gold-digging partners, adding excitement to their on-screen journey. Cameras captured their victories and challenges, leaving viewers to ponder if they were genuine pals or concealing a stronger connection. Hello everyone, welcome back to my Gold Rush channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Join us as we unveil the shocking news about Tyler Mahoney and Parker Schnabel. The secret of Parker and Tyler's relationship is that Tyler Mahoney, the interesting person from the gold rush, is in a romantic relationship, but surprisingly, not with the hardworking gold miner, Parker Schnabel. At first, people thought the 27-year-old might even be married, but the rumors in town were just made up. The big question is, are Tyler Mahoney and Parker Schnabel romantically linked? Tyler has been in a serious relationship since 2021, making her a key figure in the mining industry at only 27 years old. The skilled gold digger became famous quickly after appearing in the first season of Gold Rush, the dirt and another season of Parker's Trail. People got more curious about their relationship after watching the fourth season of Gold Rush, Parker's Trail in 2020. The TV series showed Tyler and Parker Schnabel exploring different mining sites worldwide and always appearing on each other's social media. Because they have similar interests and ages, people naturally started thinking they might be romantically involved. But going against what many people thought, there was never any romantic connection between them. While the supposed couple explored the Australian desert to find gold, the TV show didn't catch any romantic moments. It's important to know that Parker has always kept his relationships private, even when he was with his ex-girlfriend Ashley Yule. During that time, the camera crew jokingly bet on who would capture the former couple's first kiss on camera. Even though there wasn't any romance on screen, fans couldn't help but think that Parker found a great friend in Tyler. Tyler defended Parker from mean comments online, especially when a fan said Parker always looks dirty in photos. Tyler explained that digging for gold makes you look like that. In short, Australian gold miner Tyler Mahoney and Parker were not romantically involved. Maybe they were just careful about not being in front of the cameras too much. But Tyler has found real love and is happily with her boyfriend, Jake Bennett. People were watching the show, especially since only a few women started wondering about Tyler's dating life or if she was married. Tyler is dating Jake Bennett, as she shared in a January 14, 2022 photo. In the caption, she joked that he doesn't like social media much. Tyler's boyfriend has an Instagram account with no posts, 371 followers, and a cute pup named Snoot. The reality show star always finds chances to show off her partner to her fans, and Jake first appeared on her social media in May 2021. The couple went to Tyler's workplace together, and surprisingly, Jake found more gold than her. Tyler happily shared pictures of them in the field with the caption, when you take your boyfriend to work for fun, and he finds more gold than you, Tyler's financial success, with a net worth of $1 million, goes beyond her role as a gold miner. She's a successful entrepreneur with her brand, made by Tyler, where she designs and sells bathing suits and jewelry. Tyler's success extends to reality shows, using her modeling skills to promote her brand. Displaying her business skills, Tyler is the founder and managing director of the Prospectors Club. In the vast Klondike, where the freezing weather and tough terrain demand more than just bravery, two figures emerged amidst the heavy machinery and the constant noise of gold-seeking engines. They were on a quest for gold. Tyler Mahoney, an adventurous Australian dynamo, and Parker Schnabel, a young and ambitious mining genius found themselves deeply involved in a partnership that surpassed business boundaries and delved into the delicate threads of personal connection. 
This partnership was seen as more than just a business collaboration. It was a strong desire for the thrill of discovery that brought together like-minded souls across continents. It was the driving force behind their teamwork, rooted in their shared passion for gold mining. Tyler was drawn to the allure of the Klondike, showcasing her undeniable Australian charm and an adventurous spirit that matched the fiercest winds in the Yukon. Parker, an Alaskan native synonymous with gold mining success, found a kindred spirit in Tyler. Tyler fearlessly delved into the unknown and tackled challenges head-on, bringing a collision of worlds as the outback met the Alaskan wilderness for the first time. During the winter, a chilly day filled the air with the promise of untold adventures. After hearing about Parker's mining expertise, Tyler boldly proposed a partnership to reimagine gold mining in the Klondike, combining their unique skills. The initial reaction was a mix of surprise and curiosity, driven by the infectious energy Tyler brought to the table, catching Parker's interest. While Parker was known for his methodical approach and calculated risks, Tyler saw in him a guide and kindred spirit to share the highs and lows of the gold mining roller coaster. Tyler and Parker's powerful chemistry became evident as they embarked on their first venture. Parker's precise Alaskan background collided with Tyler's bold Australian enthusiasm, creating contrasting styles. Together, they conquered Klondike challenges, and their friendship surpassed the realm of simple business partners. The undeniable connection portrayed on television fueled rumors and theories about the true nature of Tyler and Parker's relationship. The world eagerly awaited, wondering if their partnership was solely about gold mining or if there was a deeper, more personal layer beneath the surface. As cameras diligently documented every aspect of their lives, capturing the highs of striking gold and the lows of equipment breakdowns, viewers yearned for a deeper understanding of the dynamics that defined their partnership. Tyler and Parker gracefully navigated the intricate dance between personal and professional relationships, when they were away from the watchful gaze of the cameras. They asserted that the foundation of their truth lay in mutual respect and a shared passion for the craft of mining. They weren't just work partners, they were friends who comprehended the specific challenges each faced in the demanding mining world. Together, they formed a resilient duo in the pursuit of gold, with Tyler's infectious laughter and unwavering determination making her an indispensable member of Parker's mining team. Their collaboration injected a dynamic vibrancy into their operations, breathing new life into their endeavors. Amidst the unforgiving conditions of the Klondike, renowned for its harsh weather and challenging terrain, a unique relationship unfolded between Tyler and Parker. This connection defied expectations, rewriting the conventional narrative of gold mining. Their friendship deepened as they weathered the storms, both literal and metaphorical. Triumphant moments were shared, and failures were met with a tenacity that illuminated the profound depth of their bond. This bond was forged in the crucible of the Klondike, where the pursuit of gold became a metaphor for the shared journey of two souls navigating life's uncertainties. They argued that the connection between Tyler Mahoney and Parker Schnabel was characterized by trust, friendship, and a shared pursuit of life's common goals. Despite the understandable suppositions fueled by the realm of reality television, the genuine camaraderie defining their interpersonal relationship often went unnoticed. Their narrative was not a scripted tale for the cameras, it was an authentic chronicle of collaboration, growth, and the indomitable spirit of individuals daring to chase their ambitions in the most challenging corners of the world. When all was said and done, Tyler Mahoney and Parker Schnabel stood side by side as the sun descended below the Alaskan horizon, casting a golden glow upon the mining site that had become a symbolic representation of their collective journey. Beyond their efforts' tangible rewards, the most precious treasures were the intangible ones a friendship cultivated through the trials and triumphs of gold mining. In contrast to the sensationalized narratives often associated with Tyler and Parker on television, 
the true nature of their relationship appeared to be more straightforward. Fundamentally, they were partners in the relentless pursuit of gold, the hidden threads woven through the fabric of their shared adventures, forming a narrative that transcended the mere glint of gold, delving into the essence of human connection. The profound layers of their connection were not meant for public scrutiny. These threads were interwoven through the tapestry of their unique experiences. Parker meets Tyler for the first time. Parker spoke to Tyler's dad on a video call and mentioned it to him. He thought they should converse about the complex world of gold mining in Australia. Their intentions extended to embarking on a journey to Australia, with the primary aim of experimenting with the area to understand it more and know how to achieve their mining aim there. However, this was only done with the help of the expertise of a proficient local guide, making him ask Tyler's dad if he was interested in taking on the role of their guide. Tyler's dad stated that he'd be busy due to the project he was on at the time, but that his daughter, Tyler, could help out with that. Introducing Tyler to Parker, he highlighted that she is a fourth-generation prospector, emphasizing her strong family link to the practice of gold mining. Parker warmly greeted Tyler, recognizing her experience in the field of gold. He cleverly noticed that she had a special quality. During their conversation, he informed Tyler about their upcoming trip to Australia, and he stated that they have the best shoes, emphasizing the need for a local guide due to their limited connections in the gold industry there. When asked about their specific location, Tyler took charge and explained that their main base was in Western Australia. She also discussed her professional venture, describing her role in her business and teaching miners and prospectors across Australia about gold mining. Notably, she mentioned the vast network she had built across various states, showcasing her reputation in the field and the contributions she could make to them. Parker, displaying a sincere interest in Tyler's extensive knowledge, enthusiastically proposed having her join them on their expedition to the Yukon. This suggestion resonated positively with Tyler, who expressed genuine excitement at the prospect of such an opportunity. As they continued their conversation, the focus shifted seamlessly to the distinctive methods employed in gold mining, particularly in Western Australia. Dry blowing, a prevalent technique tailored for bone-dry conditions, emerged as a central topic. As an expert, Tyler took the lead in explaining the hazards of dry blowing to Parker. She elaborated on the details of this method, breaking down the process into simpler terms for better understanding. Parker, genuinely curious and eager to broaden his knowledge, absorbed the insights with keen interest. The exchange highlighted not only Tyler's expertise, but also Parker's authentic enthusiasm for learning from her wealth of experiences in gold mining. Tyler also openly discussed her encounters as one of the few young individuals involved in gold mining. She expressed her deep love for the Yukon, the famous red dirt, and the thrilling pursuit of discovering gold, an emotional connection that Parker could genuinely relate to. As their conversation unfolded, it naturally became a discussion about their expectations and plans for the upcoming expedition. Parker, emphasizing the fundamental role of trust in their joint endeavor, sought Tyler's assurance of commitment to collaborative efforts for the expedition's success. Tyler readily pledged her dedication to working hand-in-hand -hand with Parker to ensure the triumph of their shared venture. Subsequently, the team gathered at a popular watering hole in Dawson City, where Tyler assumed the role of an informant, generously providing valuable insights into the potential challenges they might face in the Australian outback. Conversations touched on the presence of potentially dangerous spiders and dealing with extreme temperatures, especially in places like Halls Creek. The friendly setting fostered laughter and camaraderie among team members solidifying a bond beyond their professional connection. The evening took an interesting turn as Tyler joined in the unique tradition called the Sour Toe Cocktail. Despite initially feeling nervous, she happily took part in this strange ritual, 
showing she's open to new experiences and fits well with the team's friendly atmosphere. The talk and hangout between Parker, Tyler, and the team happened in a friendly teamwork spirit. Their common love for gold mining created a strong bond, and everyone was looking forward to their upcoming adventure to Australia with excitement and respect for each other. This meeting already gave fans and viewers the mindset that Tyler and Parker could have a strong bond that could favor them. Some memorable moments of Parker and Tyler. The success party with Tyler, even though gold mining is a tough business, it doesn't mean the gold rush stars can't have fun. Mining boss Parker Schnabel is one of the more serious cast members and with a big operation at stake, who could blame him? But sometimes, Parker shows his funny side. Gold Rush star Parker Schnabel had a great season down under and showed the Aussies how Americans celebrate a win with champagne showers. In the 2020 summer, Parker made a smart choice. He had success mining gold in remote Australia, teaming up with fourth-generation Australian miner Tyler Mahoney. As the Gold Rush Parker's trail season ended on Discovery, the crew shared behind-the-scenes moments. The celebration started with a barbecue, where the team cooked shrimp on the barbecue. Parker and the other gold miners spent nine weeks in Australia, traveling over 6,000 miles in search of fortune. Parker's goal was to secure a mining operation for year-round prospecting. His main operation is in Alaska, where the winters are too cold for mining. Expanding into Australia would set him up for mining in both climates. Parker then told his crew that it was the best trip he had ever been on. He said they saw enough for him to take the next step and that there was still a huge gold strike. Parker's celebration dinner included bubbly, which he opened and tried to splash on his friends. Gold Rush co-star Tyler Mahoney dodged the champagne just in time. It was a fun moment between Tyler and Parker with fans noticing a strong connection between the gold prospectors. From a long line of gold prospectors, Tyler helped Parker in Australia, using her knowledge of finding gold. Tyler Mahoney enjoyed her time on Gold Rush's Parker's Trail, thanking fans after the season. She stated that it was a wrap and hoped everyone enjoyed watching Parker's Trail that season. She further stated that she loved participating in it and wrote on Instagram that it was the best trip with the best crew. Some of her fans gave her some very nice compliments. One of her fans said she made the season extra enjoyable and hoped to see Tyler more on TV with her adventures. Another fan hopes to see more of Tyler and Parker's relationship, and the fan stated, I love the series. I would love to see you more, Tyler. You and Parker have some good chemistry. Sour Toe Cocktail I am going for the Sour Toe Cocktail, a Dawson tradition that entails two shots of Canadian liquor with a garnish of mummified toe. Tyler expresses that she is starting to feel a bit anxious. The origin of the drink dates as far back as 1973, when Captain Dick Stevenson found an old pickle jar with a human toe in it and came up with the idea of the Sour Toe Cocktail Club. Since then, 10 toes have been donated to replace those lost, stolen, and swallowed. She eventually drinks it as fast as she can, with Parker staring at her. Other team members who tagged along stated that they see her as the female version of Parker because of her diligence and zeal to try new adventures. Parker scolds Tyler. Hunting for some nuggets this time, Parker scolds Tyler, saying that the only way they can get success is by everyone on the team doing their homework. She apologizes and mentions her oversight won't happen again. Determined to do better, Tyler is behind the wheel of a loader she's never driven before, and she describes the stress of being slower than Jackie Ray and the rocks building up. She mentions reversing and dipping the loader up, expressing how she smashed the last load and is pumped to prove herself. At a natural spring south of Old Halls Creek, Tyler mentions finding gold and the need for gold with the expensive loader. She discusses the crocodile warning and the pressure forcing water through gold veins. 
she narrates the underwater mining technique called sniping and finding a nugget. Tyler shares her excitement at finding a second, larger nugget and Parker's prospecting. Old Halls Creek Tyler and Parker were at a natural spring 20 miles south of Old Halls Creek. She reported finding some gold in the location they planned to go detecting. Expressing the need for gold due to the loader's cost of four grand, she hoped they could obtain some gold. Tyler mentioned the possibility of Parker enjoying the experience, and they anticipated seeing the more picturesque side of Falls Creek. She advised against falling onto the left side due to the presence of crocodiles. Tyler humorously claimed to have spotted a crocodile, followed by laughter. Describing the scene beneath the pool, Tyler explained how heat and pressure forces water through gold veins, collecting flakes that settled in the pool. She reported the signal to start detecting and the need to explore crevices. Tyler found the bailing wire and noted its inadequacy in her case. She acknowledged the difficulty of picking up the relatively small amount of gold in that location. Describing the sniping technique, she explained how prospectors pinpoint gold in cracks and crevices of the bedrock. Tyler detailed the process of clearing debris to reveal the gold, expressing excitement upon finding a nugget and using a snuff bottle to collect it. In Old Halls Creek, Tyler reported detecting a second, larger nugget on the ground, while Parker continued prospecting. She estimated the piece's value to be 9 to 10 grams, likely fetching six to seven hundred dollars. Tyler reflected on the challenges of understanding the local language during the trip. Sharing a conversation with Brad about selling a lease, she struggled to comprehend his words. Tyler humorously recounted the confusion caused by Australian abbreviations and language quirks. She questioned the necessity of using abbreviations and expressed amusement at the unconventional language. Tyler helps Parker mine over $800,000 of gold. Parker acknowledged that they had gotten a little ahead of themselves that year. Parker emphasized his desire to extract every last bit of the 90 acres he was working on in the Klondike, down to the gold-rich pay dirt. The focus was on tackling a specific section, and Parker noted that progress could have been faster due to the mountainous ground they needed to navigate. Acknowledging the need for more personnel, Parker explained that his crew was divided into two groups, with the majority concentrating on stripping, while a skeleton crew ran pay dirt from the keyhole cut to help him navigate his most challenging season. In light of the challenges, Parker decided to enlist the help of an old friend from Australia. Parker said he had asked his friend from Australia to assist with his new Alaskan operation, which still needed to be ready. In the meantime, he needed help on the Indian River for his Yukon claim. The friend felt like a fish out of water due to his unfamiliarity with the mining style and gold type. Anticipating a significant learning curve, the friend hoped for a tour around the operation from Parker. The friend was eager to get started after a crash course, hoping nobody was in front during the learning process. Being a friend, Tyler reported that she lined up her truck to be loaded with gold-rich pay. Expressing her primary concern, she mentioned the fear of rolling a rock truck, considering it embarrassing. Tyler shared her experience of doing it before and emphasized her reluctance to repeat it. Reflecting on past practices, she mentioned that truck drivers would be fired in the old days if they weren't in the car with their hand and foot on the brake when the horn went off. Acknowledging that she would have lost her job based on this criterion, Tyler admitted feeling better after the explanation. When asked about her feelings, Tyler expressed gratitude and reassurance to Parker. She appreciated the guidance and was given the go-ahead to proceed independently. Tyler requested to be dropped off at her truck, and the offer was made to pull up beside it. The interaction concluded with good wishes, advice to stay safe, and reminders to keep seatbelts on. As Tyler began operating the truck, she mentioned her nervousness and acknowledged the learning process of making mistakes. Despite not having driven a load like this before, she noted it was similar. 
Tyler described the challenge of adjusting to hydraulics instead of grabbing the wheel with her right hand. Parker is right there in the truck with her, encouraging her. Tyler, flown in from Australia by Parker to address a current issue, expressed nervousness but recognized the importance of overcoming it for the task at hand. The problem involved large rocks causing a pileup in Big Red's shaker deck due to its small pre-wash. Tyler, credited with averting a crisis by catching the pre-wash plugging up, contributed to the resumption of Big Red, running at a rate of 200 yards of gold-rich pay per hour. Gratitude and cheers were exchanged among the team members, with Tyler emphasizing the significance of vigilance to prevent issues. The atmosphere turned casual, including discussions about having a beer and reflections on the afternoon. Tyler shared her worries about potential mishaps but praised her helpful teacher. The team gathered to assess the results, with Chris pouring over the gold and Tyler calling out the numbers. They showed promising results, totaling 44,895 ounces worth over $800,000, leading to a celebration among the team members. Tyler Mahoney strongly desires a future reunion and collaboration with fellow miner Parker Schnabel. In a recent cue and a session, Tyler clarified that her relationship with Parker is strictly professional, emphasizing their strong and positive dynamic. Despite constraints, she remains optimistic about collaborating with Parker Schnabel again, highlighting the benefits of being her boss in the mining industry. Tyler Mahoney's journey is marked by resilience, hard work, and a passion for gold discovery. Thanks to Tyler and her contributions to Gold Rush, viewers and fans have stayed glued to see her go on her adventures with Parker. Although she confirmed they are not in any romantic relationship, but will remain friends and work partners for a very long time. However, another thing that has proven to stand the test of time is our brand new, I found it tough case, which will stay true to protecting your phone. Discover them right now by clicking on your screen or checking the first link in the description. Let's hear your thoughts about Tyler and Parker's relationship. Also, like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting adventures. Stay tuned for more.